Hi guys and welcome to To British Be Asian. I'm Sharon and welcome to my show. So today I'm feeling a little bit anxious and a little bit nervous. Why? Because today I have decided I'm going to make an authentic Indian meal. So if you haven't already seen some of my YouTube videos or listened to some of my podcasts or seen snippets of my show on IGTV, um, I actually interviewed the amazing celebrity chef, Parvi Nashraf, AKA the Spice Queen. Whilst on the show, I spoke to Parveen about my anxiousness and my fear of cooking an authentic Indian meal. So what did she do? <laughs> she sent me a copy of her recipe book that she wrote with her mum that took five years to write. And I've, I've looked through it and it's beautiful. And not just the recipes, but she actually tells you a story about her upbringing and there's actually photos of her and her family and her children all within this. This book is completely made out of love. So let's talk about the recipes. I've gone through this book and these recipes look so simple. Um, I'm gonna make a lambuna today. So if you look at this, here's all the ingredients and look, just five stages, that's it. That's all I have to do, just follow these five stages. And what I love, stage number one, add all the ingredients except for the coriander into a large stock pot. I can do that. I can definitely, definitely do that. So I'm going to go ahead and make this. I'm probably going to get a little bit confused, maybe a little bit anxious. Um, not because of Harvey's book, but just because I've never done this before. She actually advised me to practice this first. I haven't. I'm going to go straight in and do this. So um, follow me and um, see how it goes. Maybe this will also give you the confidence to actually make an authentic meal at home as well. So guys, here we go. Um, to make things a little bit easier, I've already prepared the ingredients. So let me show you what I've done. So here we go, this is everything I need. Um, the one thing that I didn't have, I didn't have cloves of garlic, and I didn't have cube root ginger. All they had was the paste one, so um, that's what I've used. I've used the equivalent of cloves and the cube of ginger that I would need into the paste. Um, I've got salt, I've got the lamb, I've got the onion, I've got the oil, I've got the um, I've got the tinned tomatoes, but um, there's some ingredients I'm missing. I'm missing the garam masala, the coriander, the chili powder and the turmeric powder. So why am I highlighting these ingredients? Well, something that Parveen also sent me, which she sells on her website, is the spice bags yes this is amazing so if you get her recipe book and you want to follow any of the recipes in there you can actually buy the spices already bagged up and look if you can see it's got the lambuna on there which is exactly the one i'm going to bake this is not an endorsement um, i haven't been paid to kind of do this i really wanted to make an authentic indian meal and that is what i'm doing um so i'm gonna be using this in my recipe and and see how it goes. So guys, I've got my recipe book just here, and I've got all my ingredients over here, and I'm literally got a pot. Now, the pot I'm using, it's, to be honest with you, it's probably too small, but it's the biggest one I've got. So I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens, basically. So I'm gonna use this one. Um, put that on. Okay. I'm gonna put on a high heat at the moment because I need to put the oil in. So add all the ingredients except for the coriander into a large stock pot. Okay, so I've got the biggest um, pot I've got, so that's what I'm gonna do. So first of all, I think I'm gonna put the um, oil in. So the oil's gone in, um, and then I think I'm going to put the onions in. So it was two medium sized onions, thinly sliced. Well, I'm not very good at slicing, so I've just done what I can. I'm gonna stick them in there. Oh, it's sizzling. I think that's good. Okay, so um, it says then, I'm just gonna stick it all in, I think. Um, let's just put the ginger and garlic in. Okay. Um, 
Can put the lime in now. Okay. Don't know what order I should be doing this in, but I don't know. I'm sure we'll work it out. Um, salt and spices. Um, let's get them out. Okay. Um, And last but not least, the tomatoes. So that's all going to go in. Um, what I'll do, I might give it a little mix. Um, see how that goes. Oh, I'm nervous already. I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but okay. Um, let's just. Okay, um, just give it a good mix, I think. Um, so it says here, I, I, this definitely isn't the right pot to be using. Um, so I'm already now nervous on what's, what's gonna happen. Um, okay, so bring to the bowl and simmer for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna just let that, let the hot heat on that. And It's going to boil, so let's put the hot on that. Uh, just use that as a thing. So while I'm bringing that to the boil, I thought I would just um, let you know what's in the um, Lambuna bag. Um, so I've got ingredients, chili powder, garam masala, coriander and turmeric. That's everything I need in the recipe. So that's amazing. That has taken off so much time as well. So, so I'm excited about the results of this. We'll see. And um, we're just going to let that boil now. So guys, I just thought I'd um, show you this. Um, so it's boiling. I think that that's what I would call boiling. So I think what I'm going to do is just give it a little, kind of give it a little mix. I can't say this actually smells divine. I am not going to lie; it smells beautiful. Um, so let's see. It is. It is kind of boiling. That is boiled. So I'm just going to put. Um, so I think I'm just going to. Put that down to a low heat. So it's on a low heat now. And it says um, on the recipe book, um, bring to boil and simmer for 30 minutes on a low heat. So that's what I'm gonna do. So it's been half an hour. It's amazing. I mean, it looks beautiful. Um, just stirred it a little bit, just to kind of, God, it smells beautiful. Um, on the recipe book it says turn the heat up to a medium and cook the sauce for 10 minutes stirring occasionally okay so i'm going to do that now um it says here the meat and sauce will now have a shiny appearance with the oil separating and that'll be in the next one so i'm gonna hopefully hopefully that's how it's gonna look so like that and i'm gonna turn it up to maybe a medium 10 minutes um, you can hear, I'd say that's medium, I don't know, um, yeah, I'd say that's a medium, the sauce is going to be cooking, so, okay, let's watch this space. So guys, you're going to think I'm crazy, but um, I was actually flicking through Parbeen's book and I came across a recipe and it was for naan bread. Um, I looked at all the ingredients, plain flour, sugar, salt, baking powder, milk, vegetable oil, and I've got all those ingredients, so I'm going to try it. Um, so I've sifted some flour, um, so 250 grams of plain flour in the bowl, um, two teaspoons of sugar, um, and I've got um, half a teaspoon of baking powder, it says in here, and... Um, and it says half a teaspoon of salt, which I've just put both of them in here when I was measuring it out and mixed together. Um, so 
It's okay. Flour, sugar, salt, baking powder mixed together. I'll just use the teaspoon I use because it's fine. Um, then in a jug, mix together the milk and the oil. So it says two tablespoons, so that's a bigger spoon. Well, I suppose it's on there. I've already done the milk, so that's all done. Okay. Let's add the oil. What's this to do? Um um, okay, and it says make a well in the centre of the flour mixture. Um, okay, so I'm just going to make a well. Okay, I've just put like a thing in there. Um, and it says slowly pour in the liquid mixture while stirring with a wooden spoon. Okay, so with a spoon. Um, oh God, I'm, I'm really nervous. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, make a well in the center and slowly pour the liquid in while stirring with a spoon. The flour, the flour will absorb all the liquid. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. The flour will absorb all the liquid. Okay. Okay. Um, Okay, so it's alright, so it's, it was really sticky, but now it's getting a little bit drier. Um, okay, um, and then it says, then knead well for 8 to 10 minutes to make a soft, smooth dough. Um, I take it that's like what maybe some of your parents did, or you saw your grandmother do. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to need it now. Um, oh, I'm just getting so nervous about this. All, uh, you know when you start something, you think, why have I done this? Why didn't I just go and pop down to my local and just get a naan bread for a pound there? Um, what am I trying to do here? Why am I doing this? You know, it's... Uh, this is where it gets a little bit overwhelming because, like, you see how much hard work goes into it. And it's something that you, you know, you want to do for your own children. And it's something that, you know, you want to prove to yourself. When it, um, oh, actually, no, I think I need to knead it in the bowl, actually, I think. Okay. Yeah, and you start, okay, I'm going to, you know, you start thinking, can I do this? <laughs> and this is where I get a little bit overwhelmed. But I'm going to knead it and that's what it looks like. Um, is that right? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, this is the first time I've ever done this before. Um, I'm just I'm just hoping it will just taste nice. And also that I make myself proud, like I've achieved something. Um, Make it smooth and soft. If it's too sticky, just add a little bit of flour. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add a little bit of flour because um, it's sort of sticking to my hand. Um, I don't know how much, I don't know how much. Um, but I'm doing this. I'm gonna keep going. Um, it says to eight to 10 minutes as well, so. Um, but okay, is that is that how it's supposed to look? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But you know, maybe I can. If I can do this dish, maybe I can do other dishes. You know, maybe it's something I can actually start teaching my own daughter to do. That'd be nice because she loves to bake in the kitchen with me, and I feel like we bond a lot. And to actually make her something our own heritage I mean that would be pretty awesome I would really enjoy that something I'd wish I'd done um growing up but hey ho no there's so many parents out there that have had to 
you know, go to work to be in this very expensive country. So, you know, hats off to them. That's for the lamb. So guys, as you can see, that's it. Um, um, bring up to boil. So I'm just gonna check in with you. Number three, turn the heat up to medium and cook the sauce for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. Um, it does say the next one, the meat and sauce will now have a shiny appearance with the oil separating. Stir continuously for 10 minutes. Um, if sauce sticks, add special water reducing the liquid stirring and stirring. So it does say stir frying on a high heat is called the bun, which is what adds depth to the flavour. So I'm going to just take this off. I'm just going to soak this doesn't. Amazing. Um, how does that look for you? What do you think? Um, is that right? Um, just... So it says here, um, if you can see, I can actually see some of the um, oil separating from there. So, you know, you, you can sort of let me see if I can, if you can see it, can see some of the oil. Um, I think that's right. So it says, the meat and sauce will now have a shine, a shine on it. I think that's a shine. What do you think? I think that's a, I think it's a shine there. Um, so it says stir continuously for ten minutes. So I'm going to do this for ten minutes. So guys, that's the alarm to tell me that I've been stirring for ten minutes now. And um, looking pretty amazing, guys. You can see this. Um, the sauce is really thick now. Um, the smell is like amazing and it's really looking like um, the lamb curry that I grew up with um, eating and enjoying and the smell like, I just cannot tell you the smell um, is really taking me back um, to growing up and enjoying this meal around the table um, it does actually say um, the last bit to add coriander and the 200 mils of water, stir and simmer for 10 minutes or until tender. So I don't have any coriander. We are in lockdown still and they didn't have it at my supermarket. So what I've just done, I'm going to leave that out. As you can see, I've, I just added the water in. And I'm just going to stir in um, the 200 uh, mils of boiling water. Um, and I'm gonna leave that to simmer because that's what Parvina said in her book. So save time, um, I am doing the naans and I was kneading for eight to 10 minutes as it says in the book. And then what I did, I just got another bowl and it said also oh, I've oiled it and put the, just quickly show you, put the naan bread in there. And I've just wet a tea towel and I'm just gonna leave it there for another 10 minutes. So guys, it's been 10 minutes. Um, it's the last stage of all five stages of the Lambuna from Parvi Nashraf and the Spice Queen's recipe book. So um, remember I didn't have the coriander because supermarket didn't have it, so I've, I've kept that out. Um, so the last stage was 200 mils of boiling water, stir and simmer for 10 minutes or until tender. So here we go guys, um, wow, this looks pretty amazing guys and I'm really pleased with it, um, I think this is what, how it's supposed to look, I mean this definitely looks like, um, wow, <laughs> sorry I'm just, um, I think I'm getting a little bit emotional, um, what an achievement hey, um, from someone that didn't know how to make um, anything like this before um, you know I'm really quite pleased with myself here yeah is, is this how it's supposed to look for you guys um, don't know but um, I'm gonna just kind of turn that off put the lid back on yeah I'm pretty pleased with that 
So guys, this is the last bit. Um, the lamb's done now, and now I'm gonna be doing my nans. So, um, what have I done? So I added um, flour, sugar, salt, baking powder, and mixed them together. Then in a the jug, I mixed together milk and oil. Uh, I, I literally um, poured it into a well, mixed it up, and then kneaded for eight to 10 minutes um, until it was smooth. And then what I did, I placed the dough in an oiled bowl and with a damp cloth over it. And I, have, I haven't seen it yet. So um, that was for about, um, I've let it kind of um, sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, as it says in the book. I've just literally followed the book. Um, and now it says the dough will have risen now. So divide into six equal portions and form dough balls. Okay, so let's have a look. So, um, yeah, it's kind of, it's sort of grown a little bit. It's actually, it's quite big. I'm not sure if it should be bigger than that. I don't know, but it's been in there. So I'm just gonna do it. I don't know what I'm really looking for, but it has got bigger. So it says here on the pink flower surface, which is what I've done. Um, I'm going to, to literally okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. See if you can see a bit more. Can't really see the floor. Um, but on a clear surface, so roll the doll ball into six. Okay, so it says six. I'm gonna do six, so I don't really know how to, I don't really know how to separate it. Um, so I'm just gonna tear. I suppose I just tear. What was that? I don't know. So one, two, three, four, six. That looks tiny, that one. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit more from that one to that one. I don't know, again, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but you know that. So, okay, that's all done. I've rolled six, so what does it say? Um, okay, on a clean surface, roll the dough balls into, I don't know, into six. So, okay, I'm just gonna do it like that. I, I don't know how else to do it, so I'm just gonna roll it like that, how I would um, plasticine. Um, so there are my six dough balls. Um, I don't know if that looks right. I have no idea whatsoever. Um, but on a clean flour surface, roll the dough balls into circles quite thinly. Um, remember that no one will rise when cooked if the dough sticks, use a little flour. Okay, so um, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so here is my thin rolled out naan. Um, here is my hot pan. Um, it says one to two minutes on there, so hopefully, I'm really a bit nervous actually because I don't want it to burn. Um, it is rolled out quite thin. I'm just kind of looking over the ingredients. Yeah, I've done everything. Tick, tick, tick. Um, I've even put my grill on and I've got my baking tray ready to put it under the grill, as it says in the um, in the books. Okay guys, I'm actually gonna um, turn my on over now, as you can see. Um, oh, nurtured it in my hand. Oh my god, look at that. Yes, that's um, my alarm set, it's been a minute. I'm gonna put another minute on my alarm. But that really does look amazing. I am so proud of that. That is looking good. Okay, here goes for the rest of the five. Okay, so. Uh, it's looking all done, and now you're all going to be going in the grill. I'm just really going to do it for a minute because I know how hot everything is already. Okay, that's my alarm. Let's turn the grill off. Oh, turn the grill off. And wow, it's pretty, pretty damn good if you ask me. A little bit done, but hey, not too bad. 
So guys, that's it. That is my nons. Some are obviously a bit more done on little patches. But you know, I'm really pleased. And look at that. Amazing. And um, I feel quickly, completely overwhelmed. I wasn't um, planning to do the nons. I did. I had a bit of time. Um, hi guys, I just wanted to say that I'm really proud of myself. Um, I actually achieved a lot more than I thought I would. And it's not just learning how to cook but actually believing in myself and realising that although I or you guys as well may not have been brought up in an environment where you were taught how to cook or to know your um, mother tongue or know certain things about your culture but actually there are so many places where you can learn um, and you can do it as well. Um, I'm, I'm, this today is definitely an example of that of all the um, authentic cooking I've done today, you know. Yeah, I had to follow a recipe book and that's not something that um, probably our last generation or generation before that had. Uh, you know, things have changed, but you know, I really do believe that this is something that I can do now. Um, it's given me so much more confidence that um, I can teach my own child and actually we can break that cycle of not knowing and understanding and actually um, go out there and um, teach our children. And then they can teach their children because it's all about um, knowing where we're from and whether you have um, children that are full Indian or you know full heritage you know my child is mixed race so you know there'll be part of her that she might not ever know so it's up to me to kind of then teach her so I'm really pleased with myself and you know I'm, I'm really pleased with what I've done here um, with my naan and my lamb and there's the recipe book there um, I didn't practice this, I just went in and did it and you came with me on that journey and I hope to do um, more um, cooking and more about my own heritage and my language and where I'm from um, and maybe, you know, maybe we can in support, inspire and empower each other in this process and in this journey, maybe we could do it together. Thank you very much guys and looking forward to eating all this.